Live Now, breaking news from NBC4. Right now, we are following two breaking news stories out of the Ohio State House. The Ohio Senate voted to override the governor's veto on two bills. House Bill 68 would impact transgender youth, plus a bill that bans the sale of flavored tobacco products. We begin with House Bill 68, which combines the Safe and Save Women Sports Act. That legislation bans transgender athletes from playing on teams that align with their gender identity. It also restricts gender affirming care. Today we have team coverage on that override. NBC4's Anna Hoffman is hearing from community members affected by the decision. But first, let's get to State House reporter Natalie Fahmy, who breaks down what this override means. Natalie? Jared, less than one hour ago, state senators took the last step needed for this bill to become law in about three months. It was an emotional afternoon with about one hour of floor debate between state senators inside the chamber. We could hear protesters that were outside the whole entire time, with even one protester getting removed from the Senate chamber at the start of debate. Again, House Bill 68 combines the Safe and Save Women Sports Act. The legislation bans transgender athletes from participating on teams that align with their gender identity and bans minors from receiving gender affirming care in the state. The veto was overturned 24 to 8, with nearly all Republicans in favor of the override, arguing that the bill protects children. They say sometimes the government has to interfere and tell parents what kids can and can't do, comparing to this bill to things like the age requirement purchasing alcohol or the government's mandate that kids go to school. Across the aisle, Democrats say the bill is going to marginalize an already small community in Ohio, saying the government should stay out of personal health care decisions. Ultimately, members of the governor's party voted to override the veto. Gender is not assigned at birth, but rather from the moment of conception, you are either male or you are female. And there is no such thing as gender affirming care. You can't affirm something that doesn't exist. I am sorry that the facts of this reality challenge the fairy tales that you have told yourself. But trans kids and trans adults have always been in Ohio and they will continue to be in Ohio. Again, this was the last step in overriding the governor's veto on this bill. The governor this morning saying he still stands firmly in his decision and says he hopes he gets the message out there that all are welcome in the state of Ohio. And unless any legal battle blocks this law from going into effect, it will become effective in about 90 days. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fahmy, NBC4. Natalie, thank you. Now, those in support of the bill say it protects Ohio children, while those against it say this move will do the opposite. NBC4's Anna Hoffman has been talking with those on both sides of this issue. Anna, how are they feeling about the vote? Rachel, everyone is very emotional today. It's been a long month of battles for people on both sides of this issue. Families with transgender children have been at the state house all day protesting this veto override. They tell me this bill turning to law will cause more teen suicides and they fear that it will some way impact adult gender affirming care too. They say this care is not dangerous and say it truly does save lives. Those for the bill say this is what should have happened in the first place. They say a child does not need to be making these decisions, and if this is what they truly want, they can make an informed decision as an adult. This care is important to me, and it does save lives because it certainly saved mine, and it's inordinately cruel to have a kid, um, well not a kid, an adult, on testosterone for eight months and be so happy and excited with the changes only to rip it away from them. Look, there's sometimes we have disagreements as Democrats and Republicans. That's fair. That's okay. We're allowed to. But when it comes to this issue about protecting girls' sports, that's something where the legislature said, we're coming back and we're going to do this, you know, even against the governor of our own party. Both sides tell me they're prepared to keep fighting for this issue if it does get taken to the higher courts. Local for you at the State House, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.